What's up, everybody? Welcome to Sunny Side TV. I'm Sunny here. I'm going to be bringing a little Halley Son 6. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but special thanks to Massive Damage Incorporated for giving me the opportunity to feature this game here on the channel. This game is a base builder. There's exploration, crew management. There is a tactical um, turn-based strategy combat. Uh, it's got like elements of, and if you guys saw the video here on this channel, uh, Holy Potatoes. We're in space type of combat. It's got FTL type combat uh, story events in this game. So those are some of the features in this game. This game's got a lot going on. And I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to do it as much justice as I can, can in this video. But I'm going to try my best uh, to show you kind of the beginning of the game. Uh, real quick, I'm going to go into the new game here. There's, As you guys can see, there's a lot of different um, difficulties. There's a ton of different uh, difficulties. And then there's an Iron Man play with a single save. I'm guessing you can lose ships and stuff like that. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and just get started here. Like I said, I'm actually still in the process of learning, but I can definitely teach you guys some stuff that I've figured out. I, I was basically trying to kind of make my way through the little star system. There's little like objectives you can do. Like I said, there's a story. There's apparently there's uh, scenarios and stuff, events that you can choose that will have multiple outcomes. Um, the one complaint that I will say is that the UI is not great. As you can see, it's kind of like acting like if we were playing on the PC. This game is on the PC with a lot of great reviews, by the way. So let me go ahead and mention that real quick. Uh, 240 very positive reviews. So that's that's excellent. Um, but like I said, the one complaint is the UI. As you can see, I kind of have to drag this a little bit. Not not fun. Not fun. That was the, that'd be the only thing I, I'd complain about. But the combat, everything else is pretty fun. So let me kind of get started here. What we're going to do is explore. Actually, we have a mission, I think. So let me go ahead and click this on the right. I'll just go straight into the combat. Upgrade the fleet. How do I upgrade it? Build Tier 2 hangars and build a Tier 2 ship. So this game is kind of giving you a little bit of a objective. kind of So you can figure out what you're doing. Because honestly, there's a lot happening in this game. So let me go ahead and show you the ship management. Let's go to the ship management. We'll pop that up. So I have I am playing this docked. I'm noticing we got a little bit of lag spikes too, unfortunately, which I didn't experience playing. Um, I didn't experience playing that handheld. So let me. I'm trying to figure out how to change it. There we go. So we got tier two ships, tier one ships. It said tier two. How do I get to the tier two spot? See, there's a, there's a lot of stuff that I'm not aware of here. I probably have to build some stuff. So you guys will see kind of like the XCOM style building here. We'll go through this real quick. Uh, right here you have your crew. Each of them have bonuses, which is excellent. I love that aspect of it. There's a lot of a lot of depth to this game. You can customize, I think, as well. Uh, and you can recruit officers. You can create fleets. I think there's three to every fleet. I'm not sure if that expands. It kind of looks like it does, which would be really cool. So let's go ahead and jump to um, Starbase. So here's you guys can see the XCOM style, style stuff. You can build stuff here. Um, Dark Matter Multiplier. This is very familiar to me with XCOM. We got a Materials Multiplier. This is like the resources. If you guys look on the top right, we got a lot of resources. But let's see if we can just kind of get into some combat so you guys can check that out. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just try to get in there and see what we can do. So right here, this is like a little planet that we have. That's ours that we have controlled. Uh, yes, let's go ahead and repair. We're going to go ahead and transfer 30 fuel. We're going to leave the system. Let's see if we can reach another spot here. We're just going to hit something randomly. Can I hit any of these things? All right, here we go. So we're going to hit this. We're going to send the new fleet, I think it's called. <laughs> Is that what we're called? We're going to redirect them this way. One Kabomi commander seems we're picking up a signal from the surface. I'm going to skip past all this. Beam down to the surface. So this is completely new, by the way. And I didn't mention, on top of the pl the the ship-on-ship -ship battles that you're going to see, there's uh, ground forces. So here we go. This is a first for me. I am completely new here. Who's starting this off? All right, so we're going to deploy the officers. Hopefully we don't die. <laughs> Hopefully we don't die. I'm a little worried. This is, like I said, a complete first for me. I'm already getting my butt kicked. Ooh-wee. That I just hit, so they're they're um <laughs> they're picking on them. 
So we have a heal. This is one of the aspects, by the way, that I love about this game. The way that you can kind of combo everybody. As you guys can see here, I have a heal. It has a cooldown four. So I think what that means is, or actually, no, if you guys look on the top right, there's a number three. You can only do it three times, so I love that. Looks like we can actually, can we heal twice? Signal ally 30 times around. De delayed recovery. I wonder if that's like a like a hot. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do some damage to these guys. We're going to focus all our attention on the guy in the middle. One of the things that I love too is the con la, the actual like, yeah, the graphics aren't best, but the animations are just wonderful. I love the animations in this game. But we're going to go ahead and, as you guys can see, you can inflict things, inflict expose, which I mean, I'm guessing if you expose them, you're going to be able to do more damage blinded. But we're going to go ahead and hit them with a mind toss. Let's see what happens here. Throwing. Ooh, did that hit two people or did I not aim at the right guy? <laughs> all right, so let's go. So this guy's got a nano shield, so we can actually shield all our buddies. But we're gonna just keep, we're gonna keep hitting them with some damage. So I think I messed up, and I should have hit the middle guy. But we're gonna aim all our guy now to the top right. Ooh, he evaded me. That's not good. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and continue to hit these dudes. We're gonna hit the guy at the top right. Hopefully he gets confused. I see that the guy in the middle does have a debuff. Did he get confused? He is confused. Excellent. Okay. So sometimes you unlock extra things when certain debuffs are on. I didn't see how much damage is that going to do. 26 to 43 electrical. Let's go ahead and hit him. All right. Nice. Let's go ahead and hit him with another mind toss. This might take him out. All right. He is down. We are taking some heavy hit damage. Let's see if we can heal ourselves. Can we heal ourselves? Let's see if he can heal himself. Emergency meds. Oh, he healed right to full. Ooh, they, the AI is just kind of focusing on him. Now they're going to focus the dude in the middle now. Let's go ahead and hit dude in the middle. He's still debuffed. He evaded that. Oof. All right. Tough stuff. Let's go ahead and hit this dude. Nice. Laser beam. Love it. Oh, they healed. So I've noticed for sure that the AI in this game is pretty smart. So <laughs> that heals rough. All right, 42. We got to we got to take these dudes out. This only does 40 damage. We're going to go ahead and just hit him with this then. We do a psionic. Oh, he evaded that too. And it's funny because I'm going off the base hit and I thought it had a higher percent chance to hit and it didn't. It didn't hit. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and hit him with this. We need these dudes to go down. All right, there we go. We're going to heal ourselves again. Can we? Oh, we can't. We got a four down. Uh, all right, let's see if we can hit our, hit, our, hit ourselves with a hot. So delayed recovery. I think that's a hot, which is a heal over time. Let's go ahead and hit. What do we have here? Shocked, exposed. Uh, it actually afflicts me, and that's interesting. The smoke out. I could have hit all the enemies earlier. I, didn't, I just noticed that. Let's go ahead and hit it this ability. Drone takedown. So now he's got the expose on him. Um, let's go ahead and... Oh, no. Nano recovery. I think that heals. Okay. I thought that was an ability that was going to hit him for two turns in a row. Do we have anything more direct? No, we only have this ability. Okay, let's go ahead and hit this. Nice. That did a decent amount. So I love how the, s the strategy has it to where you can't just spam heals. You definitely have to pl like play smart. You can't just kind of do whatever you want. Since there is no mana bars, action bars, anything along those lines, the game kind of has its strategy where it limits you on the abilities you can spam. Wow, he is still alive. Oh, this is taking me a while. All right, let's just go ahead and hit him. Is he down? <laughs> okay. I love the deaths. The gooey stuff. All right, so we won some resources. Excellent. We managed to evacuate 60 survivors from the surface. Commander, they're very grateful, and we should return to the star base. All right, so let's just return to the star base. We're going to go back out. Oh, nope, that's not how you do it. Actually, I think we have to give it a day, so let's give it a day. So with that, we are fast-forwarding time. I'm not sure what this is right here. What's this? 500 of station health. The current health of the station. Yeah, so your station can get attacked. Oh, shoot. What's going on? 
Stop the time. Stop the time. Stop the time. So they're headed over here. So we're going to... Can we... Can we not transfer ourselves over there? Let's click our dudes. Select fleet. Selected fleet. I'm trying to get over here. It's not working out. Can we go over here? All right. So let's redirect over here. Not sure why it's not letting me go straight to the base, but we're going to go this way. So we, I think we have somebody on our way. So you guys are about to check out some of the... Is it reported the state destroying any incoming drone? We should send a fleet to dis to defeat them as soon as we can. Understood. So we're going to head over there right now as quick as possible. Keep it going. Can we redirect here? No? Okay, just redirect here then. Go ahead. We like stopped midway. We'll go ahead and transfer 30 fuel. Leave system. Hopefully we can get over there <laughs> or we're in trouble. Okay, here we go. So you guys are about to see some some combat here. Redirect fleet. Power Rangers go. Start combat. Let's do it. So you guys can see some of this space combat. Ooh, this is the first time I'm actually facing a three on three. So here we go. We are more powerful. Theoretically, we should not be losing this battle. So let's go straight into this. Woo wee. They're coming out hot. Oh man, as you guys can see, the AI is smart. They are focusing all their all their stuff on one person and the interesting part is that they're focusing on my healer. This is kind of like my healer of the group, so I love it. I love it. So we can we can do um, evasive maneuvers, but we're going to focus on one right now. There's nobody that seems to be any more powerful or weaker. They're all the same shit. So let's ship. So let's just hit, hit everybody in the or uh, aim all our power at the middle. Did we miss? I didn't see what happened there. Let's see. Can we? There we go. A hundred. Ooh, we almost we almost won. Uh, took half his health actually. Let's see if we can knock him out right here. Oh, and he survives. Ooh, so they aimed at the top. They didn't keep aiming at the bottom. So here I said the AI was smart, and now they're all kind of scattered attacking us. The only thing I would say is I'd want to um, I'd want a ship that can do. And I know you can customize like the abilities. Uh, you can level up each of your officers. You can level up the ships. There's so much depth to this game. It's just insane. So let's go ahead and knock this this dude out. Oh, he evaded it. All right, let's go ahead and uh, maybe I can show you guys. No, all we can do is attack on this guy. I think my my bottom two guys are the ones that can kind of do a little bit of extra stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys the heal here. Let me go ahead and heal myself. Can we heal ourselves, repair ourselves? All right, there we go. So we're repairing ourselves. Deconstruct. It'll bombard him for three rounds. Let's go ahead and hit him with that. I love, like I said, love, love the animations. I think they're absolutely excellent. One of the things to highlight in this game, beautifully done. I thought I had a dude that can shield. Guess I'm wrong on that. But let's go ahead and knock him out here. Nice. Spray and pray. He missed. All right. So he can shield. So let's 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 see how a shield looks. This is actually the first time I'm going to see it here. Ooh, I like that. That's cool. So now he's shielded up. I love how I have a support. Perfect. Knocked him out. That is awesome. There we go. All right. So we were able to defend our base. You can actually create multiple fleets, multiple officers. There's just, it's nuts. You can send out several fleets doing several things, doing all sorts of things everywhere. I love it. The ship equipment, you can do that. You can add ship equipment. What else do we got? We got the traits, as you guys can see, the officers. They level up right now. They're all at level three. You can gain abilities for each of your officers. I mean, it's just nuts. Let's see space here. What else can I show you guys before I end this? We have the tech. You guys can learn tech as well. All these cost resources. Everything on the top right, pretty much everything is governed by the resources. So essentially, you want to get into combat. You want to go through the events. You want to upgrade your ships. You want to like just progress through it. I mean, it's just it's so awesome. But all right, guys, um, that's going to be it for me. I wanted to show you guys. I was able to show you some ground and space combat, so that's awesome. Uh, this game... I don't Hal Son 6, hopefully I'm saying it correctly, has my stamp of approval here on Sunnyside TV. This game is excellent. If you're into FTL type games, 
space management crew management it's perfect my one complaint is the ui moving that little mouse cursor is not fun that'd be the only thing i'd say um is my complaint i mean even the combat i mean the the graphics they don't look you know they're simple graphics but if you guys saw the animations of the combat i think it's excellent this game's excellent this is one of those games i'm gonna play off the video i don't say that about every single game if i do that usually means it's got my super stamp of approval here on sunnyside tv but all right guys that's gonna be it for me thank you for watching uh hit that sub button hit that like button comment down below and that's gonna be it for me guys thank you for watching and take care.